What's up, what's up everybody? So exciting, so excited. We got, uh, there was some data mined for the new homunculus. So we're gonna go over this. Uh, this is courtesy of Drunk Wizard 101 from Reddit. So thank you to Drunk Wizard, Drunk Wizard, Drunk Wizard 101. I can't take credit for data mining this and coming up with this little beautiful little sheet. Uh, that's all him. So uh, all the credit goes to him. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take a look at these new homunculuses uh, and see what it do. See, uh, see what they're doing. See what if we like them. Very exciting. I okay. So I have mixed feelings. Like I think some of the skills I'm like eh, and then some of the skills I'm like oh that could be really OP. That could be really OP. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Uh, light and dark. Uh, basic skills. I know you guys can't see too much. I'll zoom in. I'll z I guess I'm gonna zoom in and. What the hell did I do here? What the hell did I do? I zoomed in and we can't even... Yeah, there we go. Uh, Mana Shock uses... This is the... When you first get them, this is the uh, the skills. Mana Shock uses Mana to attack the enemy, inflict damage, operation support, recovers and allies HP by uh, 20%. Protection field creates a shield that absorbs damage proportionate to your, uh, to your level on all allies, increases, increases their defense for two turns. Uh, and then magic power explosion to passive revives with 50% HP when you're afflicted with fatal damage Resets the cool time of all skills and fall under the magic power explosion state for two. It's the same one as uh, as before uh, as, as the other homunculus is uh, You'll be uncontrollable under the magic blah blah. We know we know what that is uh, But like recovers and allies HP by 20% eh, you know uses mana to attack the enemy and inflict damage Eh, nothing, nothing crazy. They're not so you need to you need to skill them up to make them any good. Uh, let's see this uh, this mana shock here. Same thing. Operation support. Same thing. Creates a shield. Uh, protection field. Yeah, same thing. Same thing here. So same thing. Uh, light and dark. When you first get them, they got the same skills. But you can improve them. We can rebuild them. We can make them stronger. Uh, let's see if we could zoom in some more on here. Zoom in. Zoom in some more on. No, apparently we can't. We can kind of. Oh, you guys can see that anyway. Uh, so let's see. The light one has the light shock. Actually, I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? Bam! I did this uh, to make it a little bit easier to understand the first skill, second skill, third skill. So let's look at it this way. Okay, light shock, uh, and then we can evolve this into light shock purification. So it decreases the target's attack bar by 15% with a 25% chance. It's like a Ramagos has the same the same first skill, or similar, similar. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it's a slight attack gauge decrease. <laughs> Who here uses Ramagos instead of Hua? I'm just kidding. Uh, that would be funny though if you put him in a swift Ramagos just uses first skill. Uh, that'd be funny. He doesn't speed break though. Uh, light shock purification. Remove one beneficial effect. Okay, on the target. One though. One. So maybe good for dragons. B10. Decreases attack bar by 15%. With 25% chance. Attacks three times. Decrease target attack bar by. 50. Okay, so you can use it kind of like a three times. Uh, decrease target attack gauge. And this is going to go up. I'm sure when it's uh, when you level the skill up with like devil bonds, right? Uh, so we've got that for the first skill. We have for the second. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? We have the second skill, Operation Alpha. You guys can see that right yet. Yeah. Uh, recovers a allies HP by 30%. Nothing exciting. Recovers HP of all allies by 15%. Nothing exciting here. Uh, Operation Alpha and, and Beta. I don't know if that's going to be the names of them when they're out. Uh, but this is just the data that I have on them right now. Uh, Operation... I mean, not, not really anything exciting, right? Uh, Operation Alpha Power Up recovers the target's HP by 30%, increases the attack power of all allies by two turns. Okay, but still, Chasun is better. Uh, Operation Alpha Accel like Chasun, and there's other monsters that do this, like uh, like the Light Fairy does that. Different things like it recovers all allies' HP, right? Uh, then we have this Operation Alpha Accelerate recovers an ally HP. By 30% fills up the attack bar, but we see the Fire Mermaid and the Dark Mermaid already do this. So this is nothing like too crazy. I'm not really, it doesn't excite me. Uh, doesn't stimulate me. Ooh. Um, Operation Beta Protect recovers the HP of all allies by 15%. Each creates a shield uh, equal to 15% of the allies HP on all allies with full HP for two turns. It's like Emma, right? Uh, but Emma's better. So we're not seeing anything crazy for these right now. 
Uh, Operation Beta Accelerate recovers the HP and attack bar of all allies by 15% each. I think the light... Actually, I think the light, um... No, I don't want to... Don't don't make me talk to you. I think I'm... I just want to check the light, uh... Viking. I think he does that too. Light Viking fills with the attack gauge of all allies by 50%. It requires 15% of their HP. Okay. So, it is like the light Viking. But his attack gauge increase is 50%. 5-0%. Okay. Um... And then, what do we have for the third skill? The third skill is the one that the third skill is the one that's good, though. The third skill is the one that excites me. Uh, the different the, the things for the third skill, because the first the first and second ones, I'm like, eh, we got stuff that already does that. Uh, fills up the attack gauge of the allies and enemies to 100 percent. So, like a a different different version of Tableau. This, I think, could be comboed. This, you could do some crazy stuff with, I think. This, you could do some crazy stuff with. I'm trying to think of the different, uh, combinations you could do. But you can use this when the enemy's ready to go. Uh, like, after your team has gone, and the enemy's ready to go, it's like their turn. You can use this fast pace, and everyone's attack gauge is increased. This, I think, has a lot of combo potential. But remember, you can't use these on defense. You can't use these on defense, because I think some of these would be nice in, like, I think the light one could have been nice on defense, but you really can't use it on defense. Um, but I really don't see using it as, like, on offense, some of these skills, I'm like, eh. But this is actually, it, this looks pretty nice, this fast pace. I, I could see, I could see this being maybe comboed with some other cool stuff. Again, like I said, when your enemies are full attack age, you gotta use it when your enemies are full attack age and your guys are at zero attack. You get the value out of it. Counter phase increases defense of all allies and counterattacks for two turns whenever attacked. Do you counterattack or does your whole team counterattack? Because your whole team counterattacking is really cool. Especially with passive monsters, right? Uh, that could be awesome. Again, wish you could use some of these in like, you can't use these in uh, World Arena, Real Time Arena. Um, unless they change it, but you can't use these in, uh, in Real Time Arena. So you only can use these in PvE content. Uh, or or as like offensive, like Guild War offense, uh, arena offense. But I don't see a lot of these being used for arena offense. I see maybe, maybe used for Guild War offense, but they're really for PvP content. And I don't really see like healer, like some of these I really don't see too much for TOA. I mean, you could use, you could like, okay, you could use the Operation Beta Accelerate for TOA, uh, recovers HP and attack bar of all allies, that's not bad. Um, decrease attack gauge here could be used in TOA, okay, that's not bad. Uh, but like some of these I don't really see too much use for in TOA. Um, and other, and other uh, PvE content. Because remember, we're like focusing mostly on Arena Offense, Guild War Offense, and dungeons slash Rift of Worlds slash TOA uh, for these homunculuses is where they're going to be used. Uh, and then we have Rock On, increase the attack power of all allies for two turns. Okay, like the, like, um, what was it? This one, kind of, but uh, two allies excluding yourself will attack the enemy target. This could be cool. Attack buff and two allies attack. So if you have a defense break on something, yeah, I mean, we've seen, we've seen this really cool with, like, Tark, with, like, Lisa, with, like, Rauk. I mean, but this is, this is, but this is like a Tark skill. This is attack power buff plus a Tark skill. I could see this being used, definitely. I could see this being used, definitely. Uh, analyze weak point, evenly matches the percentage of the HP of all allies and removes all harmful effects. After that, the defense will be increased for two turns. Okay, removes all harmful effects. Could be nice. Uh, defense buff could be nice. Uh, and at evenly matched percentage of HP of all allies. That could be good or bad. Because we know that uh, Bryant does that. And some people like to use Bryant in ra and raids, in Rift of World raids. Uh, I think he could potentially... I don't really like Bryant there because he potentially weakens your whole team based on the situation. So if some of your team is like strong and like one of your team's ready to die, then he's like, oh, okay, you know what? Like someone died. Let me weaken everyone, so... But I like this, I like this. See, this would be cool in like a defensive setting, but you can't use them for defense, so that's kind of a bummer.
Uh, but this rock on I think is cool. Fast paced I think is cool. Uh, counter phase I'm curious if this is going to be for uh, everyone counter attacking or uh, just the just the homunculus. So that's cool. I mean like these ones are, I think are a little underwhelming. Uh, these first and second skills I'm not too excited about those. Let's move on to the dark one. Darkness. Okay, first skill, Dark Shock. Attacks the enemy to absorb 10% of the target's attack bar with a 25% chance. Uh, we, we already saw. Uh, remove one, one beneficial effect uh, and absorb the attack gauge. Three, and so it's the same thing as the, as the light one, right? Same thing as the light one. Let's see the operation. Actually, let me make these a little bit. I can make these a little bit bigger, can't I? Can't I? Yeah, I can at least make this one a little bigger. Oh my god, you better get down to your Windows Photo Viewer game! Come on, man. Come on. Uh, stage 3, Operation Gamma Attacks. The enemy to remove all beneficial effects granted on the target with 50% chance. Okay. Cool. Uh, all beneficial effects. Unfortunately, you can't use this in World Arena, because that would be great. Uh, if you could elongate the harmful effect granted on the enemy by one turn with 15% chance. Kind of like the light uh, Rakshasa. Okay. Operation Gamma Weaken. Uh, this is... The say this is going on from the uh, removal of beneficial effects. Now, if you choose this one, text to remove all beneficial effects granted on the target. We can defense for two turns with a 50% chance. Nice. This is kind of like the second skill of the fire succubus and the dark succubus. Uh, weakens defense. I mean, the, f the it'll remove all beneficial effects and defense break, but the fire and dark succubus will defense break, stun, and glancing hit uh, instead. Um, so like, okay, uh, text the enemy to remove all beneficial, but this is nice, this is nice, don't get me wrong, this is not bad, I do like that skill on the succubuses, I think that's a really strong skill. Text the enemy to remove all beneficial effects granted on target, and stuns target for one turn if you successfully remove the beneficial effects. So it's you either choose the defense break, or you choose the stun, okay. Um, and again, this could be something good for like, Dragon's B10, remove the immunity, and defense break, not bad. Uh, but it is the second skill. I don't know what it's going to be when it's skilled up. How many turns? If it's going to be like two turns or three turns, uh, you get to use it. Uh, text the enemy. Okay, so this is elongates harmful effects. Uh, text the enemy three times to elongate the harmful effect granted by one turn with a 15% chance each. I don't know what this is going to go up to, uh, and also what the skill cooldown is, but... Think about it this way, this could be pretty crazy. Attack the enemy three times, elongates the harmful effect granted three attacks though. So if you have a two turn defense break, and it, three times it activates every time, you can get a five turn defense <laughs> defense break for five turns. Okay, that's not bad. Um, so that's nice. And all, all, all harmful effects, uh, I assume, not just one. Uh, Operation Delta Ruin. Uh, attacks the enemy to elongate the harmful effect granted on the enemy by one turn with a 25% chance. After that, the enemy's HP will be decreased proportionate to the number of turns uh, and the harmful effect granted on the target. I want to see what it says proportionate to. Um, HP decrease. This could be good for bosses. So this could, I mean, like, this could be cool. This could be a really cool skill. Enemies HP, HP decrease proportionate to total number of turns on the harmful effect granted on the target. That could be really strong. Elongate the harmful effect, and yeah, this is... That could potentially be strong if you have things that, that de like, decrease... Like, any harmful effect that's, like, a longer, a longer one. A longer one. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean. You. Okay, so stage five, uh, let's go see stage five. Let me decrease this a little bit. These are the really cool ones though. These are the really cool ones. Um, let's see. Let's go here. Uh, stage five, a unbalanced field. See, some of these I think are really cool and this is why I'm gonna go for the dark one. Uh, increase the skill cooldown time of all enemies by one turn each and decreases their attack speed for two turns. After that, the skill cooldown of all allies will be decreased by one turn, and the attack speed will be increased by two. Hold on, hold on, let me see this. Hold on, let me see if I got this correctly. Increases skill cooldown of all enemies by one turn each, like Samoth. Alright. Decreases attack speed for two turns. 
Awesome. AoE attack speed break is nice. I like that. So you can still use it in dungeons and things. Skill to cooldown of all allies are, will be decreased by one turn each, and attack speed will be increased for two turns. So, basically, can we think that this might be a Samoth counter for arena, for arena offense? Like, Samoth goes, he's like, ah, I'm gonna stun you guys, I'll oh, screw you. And then we go and we unbalance field, like if there's like a Samoth and a Perna, we use this Dark Homunculus, we attack them, increases the skill cooldown, then we can nuke them, and they die and don't come back. Right? And we and and the skill cooldown time of us, so he cooled us down, right? Samoth cooled us down, and then we take that cooldown off, we're able to use our third skills again, and we also increase the cooldown of Samoth and Perna, things like that, so they don't come back. Pretty cool. Uh, I can see some definite- and do I have hair in my face? I can see some definite uses for this. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, it's really strong. Even, I mean, look at this, even on, like, for TOA, this is like Mav, um, but it's an AoE on the enemies too. So this is like just a better version of Mav. I was gonna say Maz. Oh god, Jubei will go to bed, man. I just woke up, actually. <laughs> my sleep schedule was totally off. Uh, lockdown puts the enemy target to sleep for three turns, decreases the attack speed of all other enemies for two turns. I like this one. Three turns sleep is awesome. Uh, decreases the attack speed of all other enemies for two turns. Attack speed break is, is really cool. I still like the unbalanced field better, but this one is not even bad either. Decrease attack speed and three turns sleep. Um, think about the three turns sleep. Like how, even, that's like... That's like in Guild Wars, like that that nullifies a whole turn, because you know they're gonna violent proc twice anyway. So that like nullifies the whole like the one turn that they would have gotten normally, plus the two violent procs that they would get. That means they actually don't violent proc out of sleep, because it's three turn sleep. Lols. Uh so I think that's I mean I'm joking, but also half serious. Uh Shockwave removes all beneficial effects on all enemies and stuns them from Whoa 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 what? Removes all beneficial effects on all enemies. I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm listening, I'm listening now, and stuns them for one turn with a 25%. I'm sorry, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're saying this is like, like Gianna Jr.? This is like the dark, the dark uh, oracle? This is like, okay, you have my attention now. Or like Mo Long's second skill? You have my attention, that's awesome, I want this, how can I get- Can I just get Unbalanced Field and Shockwave both? Because I, I love those skills. This is like OP status right here. That's awesome. All beneficial effect removal, and I don't know what this is going to go up to, this could be a more chance to stun too. But, I like that, like that. Uh, and we, I, I, I mentioned before, that I think that there might be, you might see some like, some beneficial effect uh, removal kind of stripper kind of things in one of these new homunculuses, uh, and it cleanse. Actually, this one does, Analyze Weak Point does cleanse. So I was, I mean, but it was, it wasn't just me saying that, it was, we just, we all expected those to be, those to be things. But this is super exciting. Moves all beneficial effects on all enemies and stuns them for one turn with a 25% chance. <laughs> these guys are cool, I really like the dark one. I really, personally, I really like the, the skills of the Dark One. And then Analyze Weak Point attacks four times to grant harmful effect that isn't granted on the enemy for two turns. Uh, each among decreased attack speed, increased chance of missing, decreased defense, decreased attack, branding, unrecoverable effects. So this could be good for, uh, for Rift of Worlds, right? For Rift of Worlds raids. Uh, something that isn't already granted. Four times something that, I mean, this is a lot of debuffs, man. So you have, you should have no worries with the debuffs there. Uh, but I'm thinking about Shockwave and Unbalanced Field for Arena Offense could be really cool. Could be really cool uh, it, in, in TOA too. Uh, I think this one's... The, I, th I just think the Dark One provides more value based on where you can use the homunculuses. So that's the one that I'm going for first. I think I'll try... I mean, I'll go for the Dark One and then I'll try out the Light One as well. But I think the Dark One's the stronger of the two just based on based on the skills and where you can use them, right? Because you're using them mostly for arena offense, guild war offense, uh, and for all, like, any PvE content. So I think the Dark One's just got more going on for them for the PvE content. So, uh, even though I think the Analyze Weak Point, I'm looking at it too, evenly matches percentage of HP of all allies. Um, maybe this could be cool for... 
I don't know, I was thinking maybe maybe the Maybe the uh the wind one, but I don't I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Cause it evenly matches percentage of HP. That could be cool. Uh as long as you got you got like a little heal after that, then you can uh get everyone to full. I don't know, might be might be interesting to see, but he doesn't really I think the dark the dark one is just I, I love the dark one. The dark one, shockwave and unbalanced field. I love these. I love these. I'm building the dark one. I'm so excited about this one. Uh, it's 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 not even. It's I don't feel like it's even close for me. I feel like I'm definitely. But it's just me. I mean, it's just where, the the way I like to play. The way I see them being used. I really like. Like this this. The it's it's not even it's not even like a a compare. It's like I'm definitely building the dark one. I will try the light one at at some point. Uh, probably sometime, you know, because it's all, to switch them, it only costs, like, uh, it only costs some of the crystals, right? So, uh, it's not that, it's not that hard to, to switch them, but the dark one, I see myself actually using this one. And this is gonna be a super, super hype monster, uh, I know I'm hyping up the dark one. If you guys want to use the light one, go, go for it, absolutely. Just what, whatever, really whatever you're missing in your, in your monster box, whatever works best, uh, complements what you need it for. But, uh, but I think for, I mean, really, if we're, if we're going to use this for PvE content a lot, the Dark One, because that's where we're using it now. We can't use it for defense. We can't use it for arena defense, world arena, or guild war defense, so. And that's where, I like, I think that the Light One, if we could use it for those things, the Light One would have a little bit more value. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys, that's it. 21 minutes. How do I talk for 21 minutes about two monsters? Cause it's Jubagel. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see if these are the like if anything happens, changes to the skills uh, after they come out. But this is from the source uh, text in debt from the game files that are currently in. Cause we got some data files installed on our computer on our tablets yesterday and stuff. So that's where it's from. Uh, again, thank you to Drunk Wizard uh, for the data. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you as always in the next one.